Sleepless in Seattle, sponsored by Ford. Innovation in engineering and design. That's what you'll find in every car and truck we make. Have you driven a Ford lately? If you're up early enough to have the road to yourself, driving can actually be fun. My hot rod days are over, but I'm still more likely to pass than to be passed. Sometimes on the weekends, my husband and I just like to kind of take off and lose ourselves in the beautiful scenery. If he's driving, rest. That way. You're I, I got That's very easy. Now, with $600 cash back, Ford Contour is just $14,590. Or get incredible 2.9% APR financing. Hurry, this offer ends soon. May 31st in theaters everywhere. Have an eye for me, comedy. Mammy's Caribbean Love Cruise. Will she find happiness on the high seas? I want to be happy. I want to be married. The Mammy's Love in Paradise. Their date world takes on Hollywood. You're Richard Thomas. And you are... Oh, no. I'm nobody. Then comedy CBS Monday. He survived it all until now. He gets you. So can he save his sister's life? Multiple blows to the head. A riveting Chicago Hope CBS Monday. He's a dead man. What do you do when your daughter turns into a stranger? It looks like you're drifting away from us. Don't you ever think to look around and see what's happening? Read your Bible, Mom. I never heard you talk like this before. When your worst fears become reality. She's no killer. Real-life mother and daughter Diane Ladd and Laura Dern star in Ruby Ridge, CBS next Sunday. Life just got simpler. Sleepless in Seattle will continue. Murphy's big decision. What about the future of our show? We'll leave you breathless. Let's all just relax and take a deep, cleansing breath. <laughs> right. Then, Zipples on a mannequin mission. I have found a new friend for life. Oh, no. Big comedy, CBS Monday. This week, Dave returns to New York with a delicate Houston, Paul Hogan, Helen Hunt, Natalie Merchant, Jeff Foxworthy, and Joan Osborne on all new late shows this week. You're on CBS. Gilders, a man from New Florence, gets rich. Thousands of our neighbors race for the cure. We'll take you there tonight after the movie. Sleepless in Seattle, sponsored by J.C. Penny, celebrating 94 years of serving you. For those of you who have hours on in to shop for clothes, you may want to switch the channel. Now, for the rest of us in the real world, there's Worthington. With Worthington, you can put together a totally great work wardrobe on your lunch break. See, like this goes really great with this, which goes fabulous with this. And it all goes with your budget. So, you probably have enough left over to actually eat something. Worthington, only at JCPenney. It works for working women. Food court, 10 minutes. Sleepless in Seattle. Will continue. They thought this was the place for a new beginning. The KDK TV2 hometown advantage is knowing that Pittsburgh works hard and plays hard. Whether you're up with the sun or rocking into the night, KDK News has always known Pittsburgh and its people. This year marks my 1500th visit to KD Country. 28 years of reporting to you. After 14 years, we're still finding tips you can take to the bank. At KDK TV2, we've always known what Pittsburgh wants. That's the hometown advantage. Criminals caught on camera. Give us one hour. We'll give you a day and day to remember. Monday at 4. Tomorrow, the perfect tan. Is it worth your time or the risk? Maybe you've considered buying a tan and a bottle. Consumer advocate Lynn Sawyer puts the new generation of instant tans to the test. See the results yourself. Tan in a bottle, tomorrow on KDK TV News at 5. How? <laughs> Join Jackie Smith and John Shumway for the hometown advantage tonight. Sleepless in Seattle. Sponsored by Excedrin. Excedrin, the headache medicine. Sleepless in Seattle will continue.
you pay for it. You're paying top dollar for car insurance for politicians, inflated premiums for expensive cars, bad driving records, even teenage children. Paul Martin investigates why did you buy insurance for politicians and their entire family? You pay for it Tuesday on KBS News at 11. This is CBS. We hope you're enjoying Sleepless in Seattle. Coming up tonight after the movie, we'll have the latest for you on the crash of that value jet plane in the Florida Everglades and the search for victims. And find out how area flooding could affect your Monday morning commute to work, whether you're driving or walking. We'll tell you about it after the movie. Sleepless in Seattle, sponsored by the all-new Ford Taurus, a look you've never seen. From a name you know well, the all-new Ford Taurus. Diamond Tap, for good reason. You survived it all until now. Did you? you can he save his sister's life? Multiple blows to the head. A riveting Chicago Hope, CBS Monday. He's a dead man. What's your favorite animal? It's totally wild. It's totally wonderful, and it's totally amazing. I told you I wanted to do theater. John Ritter hosts It's Totally Animal, CBS Tuesday. swept away into a sewer system. Here I survive. Next on KDKA TV News. If you're up early enough to the road to yourself, driving can actually be fun. My hot rod days are over, but I'm still more likely to pass than to be passed. Sometimes on the weekends, my husband and I just like to kind of take off and lose ourselves in the beautiful scenery. If he's driving, rest. That way. You're I, 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 that's very easy. Now with $600 cash back, Ford Contour is just $14,590. Or get incredible 2.9% APR financing. Hurry, this offer ends soon. On a remote hilltop, one family retreated from society. We gotta protect ourselves against who? Everybody. By their own rules. Whole families armed and praying for Armageddon. But when they divide the law, you're a fugitive on the law. What's to be done about it? The law went after the law. Kick us off the land and rip this whole place apart. We're not running away! Take them down hard and fast. The shocking true story. You have to see to believe that Ruby Ridge is CBS next Sunday. Their marriage was like a fairy tale, but for Charles and Diana, there was scandal. How do I continue the touch she's made? Based on the revealing true story. For the first time in my life, I failed the same. A forbidden passion that shocked the world. Divorce is out of the question. I'm not going to give him up. Not now, not ever. Princess in Love, CBS Wednesday. Australia's Paul Hogan, Ellen Hunt, Joan Osborne, Dave Matthews Band, and much more. All this week on The Late Show with David Letterman. Now, little Hulu. Hello, I'm John Shumway. Jackie Smith has the night off. Value Jet is getting a closer look from the federal government in the aftermath of a deadly crash in Florida. Also coming up, area flooding could affect your morning commute to work. Find out how and if the worst is over. KDK TV News at 11 begins right now. You're watching KDK TV News at 11. And good evening. Investigators trying to recover victims and clues from the crash of Value Jet Flight 592 are finding themselves up against impossible conditions. The plane went down yesterday in the Everglades near Miami, killing all 109 people on board. As the first full day of searching in the waste and shoulder deep water of the Everglades came to an end, investigators say no victims have been recovered. A tough reality for Ella Gore of Erie. Her daughter, Della Marie Walker, was the only person from Western Pennsylvania on Flight 592. I'm still hoping that she is alive. 
but if she not know she's resting in Lord's arms, rest in heaven, that's what I believe. While a mother hopes, investigators are dealing with an impossible reality, the murky waters, dense grass, and molasses mud of the Everglades. Given the environment out in the swamp there, with the mud and the water, particularly in the combination, it is very, very tough to figure out how we're going to get the aircraft out from that swamp. There was some limited success today. Both of the DC-9's engines were found. But beyond that, the largest piece of the plane they've spotted is about four feet long. Tomorrow, Navy recovery specialist will arrive at the crash site. Their job, to recover the plane's flight data recorders and, using high-tech equipment, give investigators an overview of the plane's wreckage under the water. So far, all investigators know is that Flight 592's co-pilot radio controllers in Miami that the plane had smoke in the cockpit and the passenger cabin. As the, as the conversations went on, there was, in the view of the controller and in the view of our folks who listened to the tape, a, a considerable sense of urgency on the part of the pilot who was speaking to the controller. The last transmission from the plane, they say, was unintelligible. The Cleveland plane dealer reported today that the plane that crashed in Florida was forced to return to airports seven times in the last two years for safety problems. CBS News aviation correspondent Bob Orr told me ValueJet has just come out of a 90-day special watch by the FAA. They wanted to find out, is the company's maintenance adequate? Is the pilot training adequate? And the FAA inspectors who I've talked to have said they can't find anything that is really, really wrong. The company's just operating apparently very close to the edges. Now, to emphasize the point today, Transportation Secretary Federico Pena declared ValueJet a safe airline, a point reinforced by investigators in Miami tonight. Now, despite that, beginning tomorrow, ValueJet will undergo an intense review by the FAA. Back here at home, high water could play havoc with your drive or walk to work tomorrow morning. Take a look. This is what it seems like. All too familiar seeing the 10th Street bypass underwater tonight. Probably won't reopen before the morning rush hour tomorrow morning. And once you get downtown, forget about parking on the Mod Wharf. The 812 parking spaces are, as you see, underwater tonight. Now, they're hoping the Mod Wharf may reopen on Wednesday. Part of Clemente Park and Point State Park are both underwater tonight. And Station Square, the crew of the Gateway Clipper had to use a boat to get to shore tonight. See, their access tunnel was underwater as well. And we have a water advisory we need to pass along to you tonight. In Manaka, Beaver County, there is a water conservation request. Now, the Burroughs Council president tells us the water level in the reservoir has dropped to about half what it should be. No one is without water, but folks in Manaka are being asked to conserve water until further notice. More problems for the new Allegheny County Jail today. This time, there was a fire in the kitchen. Firefighters and medics were called to the jail on 2nd Avenue about 2 o'clock this afternoon. It turned out it was an electrical fire in a walk-in refrigerator. No one was injured, and that fire is still under investigation. Investigators are also trying to figure out how an elderly man from Mercer County died after a fire in his home. That happened just after midnight in the town of Wheatland. Investigators say 75-year-old Albert Hill was using a toaster oven in his home on Grandview Drive when the fire started. What isn't clear tonight is whether the fire caused his death or his death led to the fire. The state fire marshal is investigating. In Atlanta, it's believed a fire in the former home of author Margaret Mitchell was deliberately set. Looking at the building where Mitchell started writing Gone with the Wind, and it was being restored. Now, the Margaret Mitchell House Museum was scheduled to open next month, but the building was mostly destroyed. The only places spared were Mitchell's apartment where she wrote the novel and the basement. Ironically, another arson fire two years ago also spared the apartment where Gone with the Wind was written. New escape charges tonight have been filed against two men who broke out of the Greene County Jail on Friday night. 21-year-old Jeremy Ball, a murder suspect, and 27-year-old William Heyman, a convicted burglar, broke out of the jail through a window on Friday night. State police tell us last night the two stole a pickup truck, which was later spotted heading south on State Route 218 near the Pennsylvania-West Virginia border. The state police gave chase. Once uh, backup arrived, uh, the uh, escapees just pulled their vehicle over and uh, gave up peacefully, and uh, we brought them in. Police say the two men were unarmed when they were picked up. 
Local police make quite a haul during a raid on a jitney stand in Braddock last night. They confiscated stolen televisions, VCRs, stereos, phones, answering machines, cameras, refrigerators, and some weapons. Now they're trying to find out who owns the stuff. No arrests have been made. The man who shot Pope John Paul II says he has paid for his mistake. And now he wants his freedom. Mehmet Agui says that he poses no danger to society and he should be free. He was sentenced to life in prison for shooting the Pope 15 years ago in St. Peter's Square. The Pope met